Hello, how are you doing? You good? You well? Welcome to Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Without Sloss or Humphreys. My name is Elliot Still, and I'm here today to prove that I am not thick. Not that I'm not thick, but I'm not as thick as they make out to be. And this episode, we ask me, we they ask me some questions. <laughs> All right, look, I'm thick, innit? Like, what do you want? Like, you, like you're going to listen to the episode. You hear me get things wrong. If you've listened to this one before, I fuck things up a lot. I don't bother learning things. It, it doesn't really it's, it doesn't really excite me. So go, sign up to their Patreon. Kai's left me with doing the intro as he stands there awkwardly laughing as I try to do an earnest. Can we start this again? Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. And that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head. We are here with Woke Snowflake. How are you feel? Good day. Woke Snowflake, it feels like there's a... Because you know how they came up with Libtart? Mm-hmm. That, and, and that's obviously a combination of like liberal and, and retard. Like, is there a... Does Woke and Snowflake go together somehow there? Woke Flake, is that what you're going for? It it feels like there's like a, it could be crammed into something. Woke Flake sounds like a a kind of flake they bring out, you know, when they do like a, they'll do like a white one and try to call it something to like make everyone go, oh, look, they've got a new flake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this one's £1.50 instead of 99p. And we're just like, the fucking state. Boris Johnson's Britain. Uh, So there's a a reason we've got you here, Elliot. Yes. It's because you're absolutely retarded. (laughs) Well, I mean, I used that word in context, <laughs> and you've actually that, now just... That was, that was just completely... <laughs> that was just... <laughs> just steamrolled through. He took a pause and really thought about it. Yeah. Like if, you, if you go back and watch that, Daniel's like, I'm gonna, I hope people understand the context that I'm going to use it in. You've just come in here and just uh-huh. thrown a grenade into uh, 30 uh, seconds in. Are you 13 years old and playing Call of Duty? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it for like... Um, th- I'm going to change it to thick and just make you look like you're really woke on a snowflake. Oh, all right, cool. This is great. So by the way, everyone, before they ask me these questions, they had to look up the answers, so let's not let's let's calm no, no, down. No, no. I did have to look uh, up the answers. I had to Google science questions for kids. <laughs> 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 and then write them down with their answers. Did you know the answers? <laughs> to some of them, I'll, 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 man, there are. I will be. I'll, I'll be very honest. There's some questions here where I'm like, man, I did not know that was the answer. And not only did I not know that was the answer, my mind is blown. That this was the fucking answer. And in my defense, I just want to say, I wouldn't have known this stuff when I was a kid either. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So that's... Okay, right. So, so you've that, never learned it. It's no, not like yeah, you're a stoner and you've forgotten. It's uh, more... Elliot spat his dummy out last night at a pub quiz, you know. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Great. I'm all ready. I'm <laughs> here for it. Continue. It Wait, hold on. So you went to a pub quiz? We didn't mean to go to a pub quiz. Oh. We were at the, at the house watching the last game, day of the season. Uh-huh. Had a war room, a few different matches on uh-huh. different screens. And just for uh, all the fans out there, ha, 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 ha. How's that quadruple going, you fucking cunt? Ah, uh, there we go. Very <laughs> lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to win a quadruple and you played 240 minutes of football without a goal and then won a lottery ticket. You're not a quadruple team. Uh, anyway, continue. The uh, they, won, they, won, they won two cup finals, nil-nil. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest team to ever do it. <laughs> they're still showing that. No, still they are. It. Mental. Steve McManaman was saying even if they come second, it's the best team that's ever done it because of uh, how competitive they've been in every competition. I'm like, well, you can't just win two domestic cups and... <laughs> <laughs> They're a different breed. <laughs> they are. Okay, off football. Right, so the football finished. Um, we went to the pub uh, with Natalie uh, to get a bite to eat mm-hmm. and a drink. And um, they had a pub quiz on, but stopped serving food. Real bad business model, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'd done the first round of the pub quiz, and we thought we'd smashed it, right? There was one question that we didn't get the answer to, because it was like the three EU countries with... Um, with five letters, right? And we've got Italy and we've got Spain. And then we're like, oh, are these so thick that I think Wales is still in it? France. Like, France is six. France is six. Fra- oh, oh, so it is, okay. And Greece is six. And yeah. like, uh, so we went through, like, we've done a European tour, right? So I'm fucking right. going through every tour that we've done. We also started naming footballers, talking about the Euros. We're like trying our best to think of every country. So the one that we got wrong, right, was Malta. Oh, fuck I. Right, and um. The direct that you come around and done the quiz and ticked everything apart from that one, right? And it was like, oh, you guys, everybody got it right apart from one team who got nine. And we're just looking at everybody on the table, and every one of them's got their phone out. Every fucking table. It was fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> there was no, there was not even an attempt. And they, they didn't. It wasn't like someone like. Uh, uh, Malta. 
Malta. It was just like, hi, Malta. Uh -huh. like, and you just, they just all had their phones out and it ruined the integrity of the quiz. And also there was no way, uh, just like some of the questions, there was no way. Well, it was like uh, Jake and Elroy are the brothers from which musical thing, right? And Natalie, the end of our musicals was like Blues Brothers. Okay. Right? Not... I wouldn't have known that. Mm. Right. I, I got a couple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Granny Smith was an apple. No, I didn't. You got <laughs> Granny Smith was an apple. I got that. I got that. That guy was the captain of the Titanic. I got W H Smith, which then you lot changed and changed it to something else. John and turned, yeah, and it turned out it was W H Smith. So oh. we would have got more points. And I, uh, I also got, I got another one. Sure. Uh, uh, stop trying to paint me out that I'm thick. I'm not <laughs> thick. No, 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 All it's right. Fine, it's fine. You knew W. H. Smith was founded in 1794. You, were, I'm sorry. I also I remember John Menzies, and uh, there was a uh, for some reason it was on the radio recently because it's still a company. Is and it? Yeah, yeah, but it's not pronounced Menzies. No. No, I don't know how it's pronounced, but I know when they pronounced it, I went, it's like Mingus or something. Mingus. Like, Mingus. Aye, it's like one There's of those. No ones other way. Like, oh, it's like it. an old Croatian name or whatever. So that's how they say it. And you're like, once the name's been here long enough, <laughs> it's how we fucking say it, right? <laughs> I hate to sound like fucking Cartman there, being like David. It's yeah. David. Okay, yeah. David. Yeah, that, that was very. Uh, that, that that had a real, real sort of a vibe of uh, thrown in jail for saying you're English nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's thrown out for laughing. To be fair, I would throw somebody in jail if they called me English. That's <laughs> that you owe a lot so my, of prison time. Yeah. My, my logic was that uh, the W. H. Smith replaced all of the John Menzies, so I was like, oh well, John Menzies was there before W. H. Smith. Mm. So that's what, that was. I was like, I think you're right, but I think it, it was Menzies beforehand. But it turns out you were right. No, if only we just decided to ruin the integrity of a quiz. So like, you guys have. A, uh, do you know? Do you know how? Do you know how we dealt with it? Uh, very like grown up. Like you uh, asked him outside and told him that you'd kick his fucking head in. No, more cowardly than that. It was very cowardly. Oh, you asked him outside and said that you'd both kick his fucking head in. <laughs> <laughs> and Natalie. <laughs> um, you, re you, you reported him to the pub quiz society. You phoned Paul Sinner and went, Paul, pa Paul, <laughs> this, ma this man's like, he says that he's letting them use phones. Where's? God, God. Uh, Daniel. We wrote the answer that every single question is round two is everyone is using their phones. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and we're left. And then I wrote a shopping list underneath. <laughs> and, and then on the fourth round, Natalie wrote all the qualities she'd like in a man. <laughs> and, they were, and, and one of them was doesn't storm out halfway through a pop quiz. <laughs> By the way, she I was actually right on every question amazingly as well for that round. It was quite impressive. <laughs> one of the answers was Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> So you stopped out and that, there was... We went across the road to a ramen place and complained about how bad a uh, business model it was to have a cheaty, cheaty pub quiz with no food. Daniel, why do you it so badly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult man, I pay taxes. You have touched on one of my favourite Alistair Green sketches. It's so good. The yeah. pub quiz one, I'll show you afterwards. So you can find good. it on YouTube, Alistair Green pub quiz. If you want, just do a quick pause, right? And if you want to see what kind <laughs> Gelly were like last night, Watch Alice Green sketch and and then come back. <laughs> Abstract giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you to decide? <laughs> the whole point is it's based on objective facts. <laughs> in, in our defence, it is fucking annoying to be last on a pub quiz with one answer wrong. Um, because everybody's using their phones. Uh, uh, let me just say, no disrespect to the people of this pub, but looking at the table, they didn't seem like the kind of people that were going to know Malta as the fight. Uh, it, yeah. it was ridiculous. Or oh, the name of the captain of the Titanic. What was the name of the captain of the Titanic? I don't know, but I just knew it was... I used really good logic, because I was like... They were like, was a captain of which famous ship? And I was like... Look, I, I said called. Mary Celeste. I was like, I was like that's too... too Good an answer for what this pub quiz is. The opening question was, what year did England win the World Cup? Oh, they really asked that in fucking, fucking Glasgow. Yeah, first, Glasgow. Question. first question. First question. First <laughs> question. You should have burned the pub down to the fucking ground with everyone in it. Nah, I licked me feather and wrote the answer down. They actually, I actually waved my orange jumper. <laughs> where is this pub and where can I find a helicopter? It's in Clarkston. It's called right, the Overlay. Right, right, Here comes Clutha too. I'm not fucking out <laughs> of that end of the fucking again. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? In our football fucking capital, this fucking country. I tell you that's you asked, When did England win the fucking World Cup? Fucking, let's go there now. I'm angry. I can't believe you complained about the fucking Questions. That's when it's like everyone's cheating. There's a fucking Tory asking questions uh, in a fucking classical. It's just a lo 
got a lot of Glaswegians googling the answer, oh. <laughs> as if they don't know. Actually, now I think about it when we're talking about the questions, like what is it, Granny Smith? <laughs> and like when, they, like we should have gotten all of them right. <laughs> Everyone's using their phones to text their friends, being like, "God, this pub quiz is easy," like, except for these three morons beside us who are getting very angry and now writing a shopping list. <laughs> Imagine the next round. He's like, "Not the next round." Nuclear fission takes place when what? <laughs> oh. It's just everyone's like, shit. Yeah. Like, How old is the queen? <laughs> what's the pri- what's Prince Philip's favourite colour? <laughs> Welcome to Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we stormed out, went for a ramen, went back, and we took all of... Pinsa! Okay, and that he left with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we had a really good night. Uh-huh. Um, you didn't have to tell that part of the story. That could have been left out. Oh, you? my God, you're such a funny. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've, it's been oh, a while since I've done this podcast. And the last time I did it, you threw me under the bus. Honest and every time fuck, I did it, right? I used to never have a career. So right. it was fine. Mm-hmm. Right. But now... So you know what happened, right? Last time we did a podcast with Elliot was with Mark Nelson in Altitude. And we've done, we recorded for like an hour and 20 minutes. He was like, oh, don't put that bit in. Don't put that bit in. Don't put, we ended up like a 40 minute podcast. And all the way driving here, he's like, oh, don't tell them my shoe size. Like he's fucking. <laughs> size uh, three, by the way. Perfectly reasonable to be like, please don't bring that up on a podcast going out of it. This is totally, totally fine. You have to understand, you're fine. He's, you've got, you know, I haven't got, like a career, you've got literally nothing I've, to lose. You're saying I've got, I've got <laughs> stuff that I. It's amazing how little they can take away from me, and how much it could ruin my life. Oh, you can't. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing how much you could progress with a bit of authenticity instead of engineering synth- synthesizing. I don't think the image. I don't, not, not to take Elliot's energy in this, but I don't think it's authenticity <laughs> to stand by while your friends slander you with stories that they've bumped up to make themselves laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that. <laughs> Well, don't don't put it like that, Daniel. I'm not I, like I'm not going on stage pretending, you know, to like no load of stuff. I mean, I'm just going like, hey, maybe let's like leave out the part where we did cocaine last. Like, let's leave that bit. It added no relevance no, no, it, to the it, story. It's because we stole it off Matty. Mm-hmm. That's what was relevant. Well, now we're just throwing him under the bus. Oh yeah, I like know. he's got an actual job. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're in jobs where nobody <laughs> like, nobody cares. Not to steal a Jack Whitehall Matt, Matt, joke, yeah. but Matt. remember when he was caught doing cocaine and the, the way he apologised for it was because he was caught doing cocaine on his, uh, I can't remember what phone it was in the middle of the street and he apologised being like, I should have, I know what we were going to say, I should have an iPhone by now. Uh, also, that was he apologised for, apologized for doing it off a of Blackberry. Uh, rather than was, it. Well, yes. well, you'll be happy to know that Matt, he runs his own business, he's self-employed and if he does call himself in the office, it's to rack up. <laughs> 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 So, Elliot, there's a reason we've got you here. Yes. It's because um, we've had a lot of fun in the past with the podcast, but, uh, but pre-Patreon, if you're new to the podcast, there's a couple of archive episodes back on the in the annals of like Spotify and Podbean and iTunes that never that were pre-Patreon. Um, and they are where we are trying to discover if you are thick by just asking you just a sequence of questions. Yeah, and like some of them have been like really simple ones, like what's mm. the uh, main element in diamond? In coal, would, would, uh, it was uh, or was it coal? Yes, because when you cross coal, it becomes a diamond. That's why you got confused there. No, because they're both carbon based. Oh, see, that it's is... because they're both carbon based. Stop trying to act it's smart. Because the stop, element stop is carbon. Trying to fucking throw words out there like Elliot, you're what, a, no, 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 carbon, no, no. like you're fucking Einstein or what, something. What? Like, it's just say the fuck. It's coal. It's fucking coal. <laughs> right. So the main element in coal and diamond is carbon. What element did you say? was the main element fire i thought like you burn coal in it like yeah. i thought and i was thinking of like earth wind air fu- the main you elements were thinking i mean like planet. the air, air, airbender airbender <laughs> like, captain planet you're showing your age now. <laughs> <laughs> see when i think of it when i think of the elephants elephants, elephants. <laughs> when i think of the elements i think of uh pokemon that's where i learned uh, all my elements yeah. but there's way more than you forget that psychic's an element, <laughs> cold's an element, <laughs> and, and different from water for some reason. That, that's was when they had to like sell more toys, wasn't oh, it? When they, <laughs> when yeah. they, the depression Pokemon. And <laughs> <laughs> there was an element in Captain Planet. Of, so they had like uh, earth, wind, fire, and uh, when, uh, what was the other one? Water. Uh-huh. Right, and then they, they had heart. Heart. Oh, love. Like, he could attack the plants and that. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. And everyone was just, like, fucking, like, mass destruction on their enemies, and he's just like, oh, days of fear, I can grow faster. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I feel I've got the worst powers here. Uh, oh, you got to have, you got to have balance. So it's like the, 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 I was going to say, who's the worst fucking Pokemon? 
at the starters. Oh, uh, um, like got to be like Squirtle or something. Squirtle gets into Blastoise, man. Yeah, Blastoise, and, Bla- and, and, and as much as you like Charizard, fucking Blastoise is killing Charizard dead easy. What have you far Oh, what about Mewtwo? No, nah, he's not starting Pokemon. Is he not? No, nah, nah. nah, you only get him at the end. And people also mistake Mew for uh, baby Mewtwo. It, they're both separate Pokemon. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, you can see I spent a lot of time at school not learning. <laughs> well, in that case, welcome back to... Uh, but, and then also, in Elliot, Elliot's defence, I purposely put in questions here <laughs> and regularly just to fuck him over. <laughs> but then also, because he's looking out for those, sometimes you just ask him a normal question <laughs> and he's so panicky that he'll fuck that one up. <laughs> and that's why it's fun. Yeah. And he gets angry at the expectation of... like. Like, uh, how you expect me to know that? And you're just like, oh, I just, look, the thing is, right, I don't really care about learning about things that don't interest me. Like spelling, you fucking decide. Oh, I've got a spelling oh, round. There is a spelling round today. Yeah, and guess what? I'm going to fail it because, oh, I'm fucking writing words down. Like, fuck off, what, you Egyptian using hieroglyphics? Move. <laughs> that, that, Boring. I can speak. I don't need to Natalie write. Squirrels can has you to speak? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep out of this one, but answer them. Yeah. Answer them. <laughs> uh, Elliot, that, Natalie scrolls past your videos the minute there's a spelling mistake because you don't deserve it to watch it believes that she's like why am i still spending the effort to watch this if he kind of uh, be asked to spell I, and I correctly spe- I do you spell, spell so and with an m oh because it's next there and then i'm also i'm editing in right i'm sorry that the fucking video of my podcast be tech philosophers that i've i've spent uh, ages editing subtitling i mean it, i have to change i have to change the whole format of it to fit the fucking phone because we've got such a generation of people that it has to fill up the whole phone because if it doesn't fill up the whole phone i'm not gonna oh, watch yeah. it and there's that thing where you do have to like people okay, i'm not on tiktok yeah. or doing anything but like people you have to put the, th- the words on the video because the amount of people that just watch videos without any sound on is i don't get me wrong i'm also that really? cut like i'll scroll it so there's no captions on your video i ain't watching it uh-huh. so so i have to do all of that and at the same time i can't say uh, it's not very clear all the time and sometimes I'll, I'll be honest with you yeah i i, I send a, i airdrop the video to my phone i go i look at it i see there's a spelling mistake and i see it's like 20 seconds in and i go well by that point yeah <laughs> like, oh, the way you do it is be like well at least i'm gonna get a comment on this video yeah, as yeah. some fucking nerd goes actually it's spelled p-e-a-r yeah <laughs> you actually used the wrong pair yeah, yeah. there yeah. and you're like thanks for the engagement fucks dick yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't look at the comments on TikTok section where everyone is just vehemently horrible about me mm. all of the time. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere near TikTok. If, 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 if I have to, if I have to sacrifice success in my career by not joining it, I I'm just not willing to learn. And I and, and there'll be and there'll be another one in five years. Mm. Like, you know, remember Vine? That was yeah, great. Yeah, you were burned by Vine. You were like, well, I'm not going to learn another social media. Oh, I, must, I mastered that one. Vine did, you was do, so did you do well on Vine? No, but, but I we were good it. at it. Oh, right, right. We, we, had, we had actual fun creating shit yeah. on Vine. That is six second videos. Yeah, because that, so, that was so easy to become a content creator because it was like, right, you've got, here's the fucking parameters. And yeah. this is what you've got to, this is how you create, you go all fucking fun as opposed to TikTok where you can just have a, like a fucking film crew following you around and doing everything. And but but it's, it's loads of different things tiktok like uh-huh. yeah there is that side to it that sucks but there's also loads of fun so i, I went down like i think i sent you you'd have loved this it was a youtube it was like a tiktok rabbit hole of the greatest modern warfare 2 trick shots oh, okay. and i and i started going down that and then the algorithm started sending me things from other games and i was just able to be like oh i'm actually very happy thank you for working out i would never have Look mm. this up myself. This is great. I really want to consume this. Uh, whereas other things are a little bit... When you first go on, there's a lot of girls with their ass out. And I'll be honest, it's amazing how boring that gets. Yeah? Yeah, and then what gets better... You're like, numb yourself to it? Yeah, no, i tell you what gets better is... Uh, there was this account that was that would called VAR 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 Art. It's like VAR check. It's like a girl would put up a thing about how they've got a, like talking shit to a camera about how they got a fat ass and lip sync about how they got a fat ass, and then it would cut to a VAR referee doing this, and they would go find her Instagram and then find a photo where she like clearly doesn't have a fat ass, and it would be him giving the red card, and it was it was so fucking good. So it's like calling out. Thirst traps for false advertising, yeah, it's essentially. so funny. In the world. Well, the worst one was there'd be girls like hoeing it up online, and there'd be this guy who then like find their boyfriend and then send them a video and be like, Is this your girl, bro? Uh, <laughs> I do do like the genre of if somebody is being like a piece of shit online, instead of engaging with them, 
just grassing them up to people. That those <laughs> and so I know snitches get stitches. Oh. But like when guys said, there was a thing for ages, and I'm sure it still goes on, that like when guys would send unsolicited dick pics, you just go find their mum oh, on Facebook right. and you go, is this your son? And she's mm. like, yeah, I remember that call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy that, uh, that did a YouTube video where there was a guy wolf whistling, car calling girls that walk by all the time. So there's a prank, that, like they got the mom involved in it and dolled her right up and made him walk past and made him cat call his own mother. And then his mother revealed herself, like took her hat That's off and all so that. That's so good. And, and absolutely bollocked him and the, the kids shot it. The, Fucking those are good class. Those are good because they're like virtuous and should be done. I like it when it's really ruining someone's day who's just trying to make a video. I really like I'm I'm a much I, worse person. No 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 but buddy I love Schadenfreude and, and, and enjoying the suffering of others. I'm still ball and you know this, I'm still balls deep in this Brendan Shop thing. Every day I'm just updating, I'm enjoying all the fucking memes and I shouldn't, he's a human being and I'm sure face to face he's a lovely bloke, but as an imposter of my fucking art form, nom 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 I I would love to be on your podcast, Brendan, and I don't stand I would throw these under the bus to fucking shake your hand. Brendan just a date if you're watching. Brendan watching it on early access. <laughs> right, the quiz. Yes. Uh, you, we, so we have six rounds, seven okay. rounds. We've got history round. Okay. A quick maths round. Oh dear. Science round. Oh no. Philosophy questions. Uh, yes. Spelling bee. Oh no. Explain how this thing works. Uh, okay. And a riddle round. Oh no. What would you like first? Let's go philosophy. Philosophy, okay. Uh, Bear in mind that uh, he has a podcast called B-Tech Philosophers. It's called B-Tech it. Philosophers for a reason, yeah. by the way. Cause it's, yeah, yeah, because a B-Tech would suggest that you had some level of education. <laughs> in it. We've we just got quite a fair <laughs> bit of philosophy. But what is philosophy, innit? It's just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going like it's going like what's that a roof why is that a roof that's all it really fucking is you can dress it up all you want so it's I'm driving back from Liverpool we we'll pull away from the service station I said to Mark should we put Elliot's podcast on because I'm going to hang around with him on the weekend oh, I'd like to hear his podcast I haven't listened to it yet we'll put it on and then there was a bit where Elliot early in the podcast Elliot mentioned uh, me pissing on Ricketts in a sauna because he doesn't care about my privacy and, um, we've also told that story in this podcast uh, you, 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 you told that story at your wedding it's <laughs> uh, my story <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I laughed, right, because uh, I thought it was funny. Uh, and then I looked and Mark was just fast asleep. And it had been on three minutes. <laughs> Mark's a 40-year-old drunk. He's going <laughs> to... You could put Screamo on and he's just going to fall asleep. All right. So let's go. Let's go with philosophy. So you know, on your podcast, you bash the table all the time as well. Yeah, no, it's like, you know... What the, the fucking... Is, am I not allowed I've, to touch? I've been told off. I, I am on your side. I always touch it, but he is right. And I've, the only reason I don't do it is because I've been told off 27 oh, podcasts in a fucking row. Right. Can, can I fidget with this yes, thing? Yes, I am a fidget. It'll make too much noise, but I'm with you. I'm a fidget, right, and right. I get it. You got much. Now, this one's going to be difficult because there's no, there's no correct answers here. So this may be a good place to start. Uh, what do you think consciousness is? Consciousness is a thing that humans have all agreed is uh, the idea of I think, therefore I am. So I know I exist because I'm able, I'm aware that I'm alive. Uh -huh. So I'm aware that I have thought and I have these things, but I don't believe that we have full consciousness because this is, the, we're only, let me, I'm not, I'm not good with words. That's okay. So Take we, we're experiencing, it's kind of Descartes and stuff like that. Like, how do we know that this is Des really Descartes real? Descartes is, actually. Descartes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm making Descartes. a good point. It is, it is. I'm making a good point. And you wanted to jump in there and be like, oh, here's how you should say that dead guy's name. <laughs> no. He fucking, he fucking was, got the name of a I shop was, he used I to was, go to wrong. <laughs> went on the radio, they pointed it out, and he still went, nah, fuck you. And I get some... No, no I wasn't I was on the radio <laughs> talking about John Menzies. I was listening to the radio. Oh, sorry. And I, they mentioned John Menzies <laughs> in a different I way. Oh, that was weird. I was in a car. Listing and they pronounce the business John Mingus has gone under, and I'm like John Mingus. I I was thinking like it's weird that you were promoting your tour by talking about <laughs> them. I'm like bring it back. W H Smith is fucking soulless. You were right. It isn't Descartes. It was like me. Like oh. if you said jalapenos, now and M jalapenos. Oh. I was I was being a dick. So there you go. So, so consciousness is this thing that we all agree on this side. We have. I, I know you disagree with me on this. I have a feeling that through things like maybe DMT or acid like that, there's 
levels of consciousness that we as humans cannot experience or have not experienced, but you don't know, you don't miss what you don't have. Mm -hmm. so, so you think like that, those other levels of consciousness, obviously you've touched on DMT and drugs there, that's potential to reach those. Do you also think that monks through meditation uh, are experiencing higher levels of consciousness than we are? I, I, I wouldn't know enough about it. I don't really meditate. So do I find meditating a bit long. It's not really for me. So do you uh -huh. think, uh, I'm just trying to pack what you're saying, do you think consciousness is like a broader thing than just your own individual experience? Experience, do you think it's the the universe witnessing itself? Yeah, so the greatest thing I ever heard about the universe is we are the universe trying to figure itself out. We are a product of the universe. So the universe created us. We are, this is it, this is the universe. This it's is become it. the hive mind. Yes, so we are, the reason we have so many answers about the universe. God, is the universe is fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> and also anybody saying hive mind goes in Muggle Corner, even in that context, I will go in Muggle right. Corner. Right. You know, people go, hive mind, uh, can you tell us what's the best place to park in Leeds? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. That's why we can't figure out what the universe is. We gotta help Janet find a fucking NPC. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's what I, I'd say consciousness is this thing that we've all agreed is kind of what life is, what we are experiencing. Oh, you explained yourself, I'll give you a point. Uh. Uh, what do you think kindness is? <sighs> Ooh. Kindness, I would suggest, is an act of doing good onto another, but if you were to get into the reasons of why people are kind, it's not necessarily, like, would you argue that if I am nice to you because I think it could benefit me, is are that you, truly an act of kindness? So are you, this is the thing that bards, uh, altruism only exists in bards or something because they will alert other bards to a predator by making noises and that doesn't benefit them in any single way that, oh. you know, we know really, whereas human beings, it's said that altruism doesn't exist. I personally believe that altruism absolutely does exist amongst human beings i I've, think it does but, it, but it, i i guess like if you like would, it, you know if you give to a homeless person without telling anybody would that still not be considered altruistic because the homeless guy thinks you're class well yeah but that, that's yeah and also you people these people would argue i think that you know you're doing it to make yourself feel better yes uh -huh. so is that what you believe you, uh it's a tricky one because you can go around in circles of it it's kind of like what well, the chicken and the egg paradox mm -hmm. it's it's not it's not um you do something because all right being kind is nice. You do something to help your friends. You feel good. You see your friends have a good time. You see people like you. But I do get the feeling of that. So if that feeling was to be taken away, would I ever do it? Mm -hmm. I don't think I would. No, so, I'm, I'm definitely kind so that people tell other people I'm kind. Oh, yeah. So that I can be an asshole. And yeah, people be yeah. like, Sloss, no, he's dead sound. No, no, people don't say that. They see right Fuck. through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they everyone, know your motives. Every, everyone's like, Danny wants something. <laughs> Everyone just reluctantly takes what you're giving yeah. them. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I would say ki kindness, I guess, is just what we do. Uh, it's just an act of being nice to your fellow man. Okay. Or woman. No, nah, don't be kind to them. But the... <laughs> <laughs> we all fall under the concept of man. Mm. Uh, what do you think dreams are really about? Um, I don't really think you, you truly experience your dreams because you can't remember most of them. Mm -hmm. The dreams you experience are the ones you're coming out. They're going to be things that are on your mind. If it's down to your subconscious, I believe maybe there's a collective memory thing. That's why when you go to somewhere on DMT, it feels familiar. I don't mm -hmm. think you go to an actual spirit realm. I think you go deep into your subconscious and there's something within the subconscious where we're, we're all made up of the same thing. Not to get all fucking hippie and dippy shit about it. I don't, really believe, right I don't, I don't really believe that stuff, mm -hmm. but... There is definitely a thing we're all made up of the same atoms. We're all made up of the same molecules. Well, th these things have to come from somewhere. It's it, me and this table are somehow the same. Mm -hmm. it, we're made up of the same things. We're made up of things of this universe. So maybe there is some collective memory thing in there. It would explain religion. So you think you could be going to the lobby? Like, yeah. You know, when you die in Call of Duty and you're gone. Yeah, I guess. I, but I don't believe in an afterlife or anything like that. I think we're just a bunch of experiences mm -hmm. for something else. Yeah, like we're all made. Up, we're all made up of star matter. Like yeah. things, you know. We, we, you know, are we? Uh, the way you, I think what you're trying to explain was, you know, 
uh, stars exploded years ago were all made up from that matter and when things deteriorate they go back into the earth and they become other things and throughout time so part of the molecules that I have now could have been Catherine the uh, fucking great yeah, or yeah, uh, you're, just, you're just dust that's cooperating mm-hmm. it Hi. probably wasn't Catherine the great though was it it was probably some fucking peasant like oh. just wondering everyone likes to think in some past life regression they did say no one's like no you died at Le Mans in 56 <laughs> like a pussy yeah. like you went to see a race car <laughs> and, and you, you got decapitated you're no, and you weren't interesting right. also into race your, your eyeball was a bit of dog shit in the 1500s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of me, I'm pretty sure, was just other people's rectums at different points. <laughs> I think I, think I made maybe. up of 90% winking imagine, assholes. Imagine you, imagine you found out you were like, no, 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 you're Hitler's foreskin. Maybe that'll, <laughs> be, maybe that'll be the new, you know, we've, we've got like ancestry at the moment. It'll tell you who your relatives are. Maybe that's like the next step of that. They'll be able to like, we can tell you what, atoms you used to belong uh, to and you're like oh god I'm like 30% iceberg and, and, <laughs> uh, and 20% polar bear this is so interesting obviously it'd be much smaller people like point zero 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 one or whatever but like, yeah but yeah so it's oh my god I was made up of so many races that makes so much sense <laughs> <laughs> you're just like a, thank it's god not it, my fault it's the memory it's the memory of my molecules thank god it's racists and not races otherwise I'd be really annoyed yeah. <laughs> where my internal struggle's coming from. It's just an amalgamation of clan members. Uh, dude, dude, it's like me when I found out like, I had a granddad I never met who was Jewish and I was suddenly like, I'm a minority. Oh, oh shalom. Uh, <laughs> they, don't they do that on South Park? They do a South Park episode where he finds out he's like half Native American. Oh, well. yeah, or, Like yeah. a percentage Native mm. American. Yeah, it's about people. But oh, yeah, it's like kissing the, kissing the chief so that yeah. he... <laughs> But you get yeah, the DNA. But yeah, so dreams, I think, are a thing we experience that are part of, which is based, you know, you've got your id, your ego, your superego, and within that, there's the you, wait, 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 I've heard of these things. The, what's the id again? The id is your base level of who you truly are. So it's like looking for warmth, looking for food, looking for the, this is it. It's your human instinctual need. Okay. Um, the, I, I believe it's the super ego. Just call oh, me Daniel. The, 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 <laughs> or it might actually be, it, I believe it's the, su- the id that you got. Yeah, I believe it's the ego where it's like, that's kind of more your subconscious. Mm-hmm. So that's your, you know, the, the things that will probably come up in your dreams. And then there's your ego, which is the person you think you are, like what you're trying to be. And that, uh, but that, that also, also relates it to like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And then you've got a new, so you've got a new level of ego where it's the person that you're pretending to be online. On top of that, now that never used to be. Oh, I'm not. I still can't spell in this life or online. <laughs> like I'm pretending to actually be me. <laughs> like, I'm a, the image you cur- curate. So, so yeah, I guess your dreams come from there, and they're just uh, their experiences or, or emotions, and uh, whatever your brain's feeling at the moment, oh, it projects that into. Do you your reckon, dreams. like, you know? Since we all share molecules and we have first history, do you reckon at some point when you're having a dream and you're like, "This is a fucking weird dream," what it actually is is like one of the molecules from. Fucking, you know, um, Alex, Alexander, uh, the the great. Sorry to just be naming all the greats here. <laughs> <laughs> I just think they're the best. <laughs> you're just really, you're really yeah. stay, see, you really don't want to show your workings on this. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, well, because I was like, I was like, you've just done Russia, so go far away from Russia. I'm like, oh, the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you reckon like that's it's just something then there goes into the little dream receptacle and that because like okay now part of this memory is going to be you fucking Cleopatra I, I, I don't think you have any past life regression stuff I think no. that's all nonsense I believe that when you go into the DMT world or whatever it is it's it feels familiar mm-hmm. at the one time of day. I didn't even break through Nostalgic. properly. Yes, yeah, so I'm not trying to say that I'm like the master of this or anything, but there's a familiarity with it. The same way within some dreams, you can be like, I've been to this place before, mm-hmm. but it's not a human thing. It's not a, it, it. So I think there's something within us that there has to be the same way how you can have a load of birds in a cage, just in a dark room. And then one day they see a falcon go over it. They all know to chirp and alert the other birds, like you were saying. How do they know that? They've never seen a falcon. They don't know what a falcon is. Well, the, 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 that's, that's, that's evolution and, and but, the instincts. But yeah. So where does that come from? So so that comes from a memory of someone. It knows how to do that. Oh, that's right, not yes. alert, right. It's not learnt to do that. It just instinctively knew yeah. to do yeah. that. Because all the ones that didn't know how to do that uh, died and... Sorry, I'm not That's being. Something. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm actually answering these questions. No, hey, hey, hey. Than... look, hey, may, maybe, maybe this thick cast is the one where it's like, oh my god, he's evolved beyond. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the philosophy questions where there's no right or wrong answers. <laughs> uh, I'll, and, and last philosophy question: Do you think it's fair that wealth is passed down over multiple generations? 
Mm, what is fairness? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. Yeah, like, oh. Fairness, fairness is just our idea F- of... Fairness is well mad if you think w- about it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Cause fairness, fairness is just me. It, there's no such thing as fair. Mm-hmm. Fair is me decide. is another human deciding Okay, so there's such a thing as right and wrong? No. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's what we believe. It's a set of moral codes we okay. run our lives by. Okay, do you believe that it's right to it's pass fair. down wealth and fair to pass down wealth over generations? Yes, because I want that. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> like, so yeah, I do. But if it doesn't happen for me, then no. But it, it's like, it's like the same way, like tax the rich until I become rich, yeah. then do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it's that kind of. Yeah. You're, you're, so you're the problem. Yeah. Uh, no, but humans are the. Pro- that's that's just the way you think. That's uh, you know. Th- I wouldn't mind if I was like how fatally was to become rich. I don't mind paying taxes. My taxes were going towards schools, the NHS, and things like that. But it's not. It's going towards fucking nonsense. All right, but that's so that, it, that, that's very much the current th- government. So, and but I. but. To decide that's fair. Now, if I was put in charge, would I fix any of that stuff? Probably not. I'd probably rig the system to benefit me, which is what humans will do. It's not that power. Attra- I don't think that's all humans, though. Yeah. Like there are good. I mean, there's there's none at the moment, but there are good people who, are therefore, I believe there are good people. Yeah, in the what's, world. what's and good? And if they were to become politicians, what's good is you've acknowledged your own selfishness. You've went, I would actually fucking rig the system to benefit me if I was on top, right? And you've stayed away from politics. Half of these cunts like do that and the yeah. pursued it, yeah. and that's what makes them a super cunt. At least your your consciousness and your uh, level of intelligence yeah. and ability has stopped you. But it, well, I don't <laughs> think I don't think intelligence has anything to do with it. Like, uh, I. but yeah. So so should it be passed down through generation? I guess. I guess it it, it depends where you stand on it. That fair fair doesn't exist. It, I I don't believe it is. It, it, it's like. There's like a, it's Nietzsche, isn't it? Who's like uh, constantly misquoted, but he he believes like- By Joey Barton. Joey Barton. I, Joey I just Barton remember, the only, the, the only thing I know about Nietzsche is that when Joey Barton got Twitter, he would just quote Nietzsche okay. on Twitter. So that's good that he does it because it's basically what thick people say. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. To try and be yeah. smart is you drop like one of the most base level philosophers in. And uh, his thing was, it's kind of misunderstood, but his thing is, it's mistaken as nihilism, but he's like, actually, there's beauty in life because there's no meaning. Every sort of set of moral codes we that. have, we decide. So good and evil, what are the, you know, the the horrors of the world are, you look at something and you go, we, okay, put it this way. Like, <laughs> yeah, we can all sit here and go, the Holocaust is bad, but termites don't know it exists. It doesn't w- work into their world. It's right, not if, a, I'm pretty sure if we could explain, oh, to be fair, I reckon if we were to explain the Holocaust to termites, termites would be like, but you do that to us all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whenever you find us in our in your houses, that's all you do to us. Okay, so yeah, that, so that that's like one of my favorite quotes actually is from uh, uh, Watchmen, where uh, Ozzy Oz, 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 Men Oz, Dias and Doctor Manhattan are like having it out in this fight, and uh, Ozzy Men Dias goes, "But I'm the smartest man in the world," and Doctor Manhattan, who is meant to be omniscient, is omnipotent, goes, "The smartest human means as much to me as the smartest termite," Aye. and it puts in this term of like, "Oh yeah, in the grand scheme of things, what does it? It doesn't really matter." Mm-hmm. Like the universe goes up. Like if I was to step outside and get, to get hit by a bus, I don't know why there's a bus going in your garden, but. I died. The people around me are sad, uh-huh. but it doesn't mean anything to because the world. the world the world continues. Everything goes right. on. Life continues, but uh, then yeah. yeah. Okay, I th- I'll still put the podcast up. Oh, I, that's all right. No, I, I, I'll actually like, oh, you would milk no, the fuck. You'd I, make it a Patreon uh, exclusive, yeah, the I'll last go, ever oh, one. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Fuck, when I'd split it into like three bits. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you went for your, your, your favorite round there, the philosophy yeah. one. You did quite well. I mean, Thank you. Sh- uh, what would you like next? Let's go history. Where was Napoleon born? France. Corsica. Where's that? Little island of... of it was fucking France, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's no, a it's little a island. Don't little island me. I don't care. He's French. He led France. He's French. <laughs> well, well, he didn't lead the armies of Corsica, did he? Well, he, he didn't did, invade did. Corsica with Russia. He, he didn't did, invade did. Russia with Corsica. Oh, mate, he did. went with France. I, he did, did he? Did, did, yeah. All right, well, fair play. You win that round. <laughs> <laughs> um, in Russia, there were the Bolsheviks and the... Red fucking... Uh, no, the Mensheviks. 
I thought I the thought red, the red fuckers, the, the, the Mensheviks. I don't know. I, I assumed because Russia's always Europe. The Bolsheviks were like Lenin and all them boys. Yes, I. And the party that Lenin was going against was the Mensheviks. I I didn't know that. I thought he was just trying to kill the Tsar. Oh, I'm not actually up to that bit in my in my lectures yet. So you're you're slightly. Ahead oh right, me. yeah. Well, not to spoil it for you, but he <laughs> kills the Tsar. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I, I've I've been keeping off the news, so don't tell me what happens with Russia. I'm yeah. so excited to oh, catch up. I'm watching the news you, from the start. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you, you're going to want to end around uh, season 1933 when I get to Ukraine because they become the bad guys very quickly. <laughs> uh, name five presidents pre George Bush. Bill Clinton. Yeah. George Bush Senior. Great. <laughs> Good. That's the one he meant. You've, you've got two wrong so far. Uh, uh, Harry Truman. Yeah. Richard Nixon. Yeah. George Washington. Great. Yeah. Abe Lincoln. You can yeah. put him in there as well. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. They're fucking, they've had a few. <laughs> they have yeah, had a few. Well, had a I love few. that you started real recent as well. Like, <laughs> well, because, yeah. Cause, well, because I always well, also like, like FDR or like, yeah. Have I meant, uh, yeah Franklin okay. to Roosevelt. Was he the one in the wheelchair? Yeah. Aye. How did Margaret, this is two questions, there's a question and then a bonus question, bonus point. Uh, how did Margaret Thatcher die? And for a bonus point, why is it still funny? Uh, she died like a dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did. She did. <laughs> she, oh, she, oh, she, <laughs> she, I, yeah. I see the joke. Yeah. She died uh, like a dog. Because uh, she died of a. Because she had a stroke. <laughs> yeah. like a and that's why it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Two yeah. points. <laughs> How long did the Hundred Year War between France and England last? You asked me on this one, the last one. Did I? Yeah. So that means you know the answer. It's like 113 years or something. It's so close. 160, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, good, good. I mean, the one the one you didn't get right there was the, the, the one that I thought you'd get. And also, I didn't even think it was a valid question. I'm pretty sure there were other parties apart from the Bolsheviks <laughs> having Mensheviks. I think I was just trying to reduce it. Okay. Uh, quick maths. Five plus seven. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eight times eight. 62. 64. Oh, fuck. Square root of 100. 25. <laughs> 10. Oh. <laughs> one minus minus one. You thought 25 25s was 100. <laughs> oh, Bob, I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck about maths, innit? It's for some yeah. fucking other nerds to learn, not me. I'm not, I'm not trying to build anything. You got to learn about rectangles. <laughs> <laughs> one minus minus one. Zero. <laughs> no, two. Oh, what? Well, 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 you shouldn't have asked it like that. That's a dumb way to ask something. <laughs> well, that's how you ask the question. <laughs> it's, what a silly way to well, Of course, I'm going to trip up on that. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to. This is one minus minus one. Fucking yeah. one plus one. Uh, if one equals three, two oh, equals it. three, three equals five, four equals four, five equals four, what does six equal? All right, you got to ask that again. If one equals three, yeah. two equals three, three, three equals five, yeah. four equals four, and five equals four, what does six equal? Seven. Three, because there are three letters in six. Uh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> there's three and one there's three and two that's good, that's good I like it I was looking no, for a pattern I was looking is. for a pattern I lost it fucking disgrace that's a disgrace you know what you're up to you've gone in with the philosophy industry and you know I'd get it and you've come with this absolute nonsense bro like, I'm not autistic I'm not going to notice don't fucking sit around learning bus schedules all day and memorising numbers. I've got shit to do. I can't fucking... I'm not Edward Nigma or whatever his name. The guy who cracked the Enigma code. Like, yeah. Edward Nigma. It's the Riddler. Riddler. Yeah, I know. Alan Turing. Alan Turing, yeah, sure. But like he... <laughs> fucking sitting there looking for codes in things. Okay. Okay, do you want... Riddle round? Let's do the riddle round. Okay. <laughs> and I want to clarify, this came from a website called Riddles for Kids. <laughs> so, so. so, and let me tell you, when I mistyped Fiddles for Kids, <laughs> the police were down here so quick. Um, what has to be broken before you can use it? 
You guys are going to have to feel some dead Don't air. say women. <laughs> Don't say women. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not right. It's funny for the wrong reasons. What well, has to be broken before you can use it? I know the answer. But can you guys feel some dead air while yeah, feel, sure, feel this sure. out? You guys have a chat or something. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's actually quite easy when you think about it. No. It's like... If, it's an ingredient. An egg. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what begins with tea, finishes with tea, and has tea in it. What was that? What starts with tea, yeah. finishes with tea, and has tea in it. Oh, it's a, it's a word. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So what starts with tea, finishes with tea, finishes and with has tea, has in, tea it. in it. Has tea in it. I don't know. Teapot. Teapot. Oh, no, no, very good. It's got, te- it's got tea in it. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah tea that's in it. good. Ah, uh, they, they've done me yeah. there. Do you ever do that? Do you ever do that Man. real good dad joke where you're like, um, like a, a gol- golf peg, three letters, and then someone shouts tea, and you're like, I please, milk, two sugar. Uh, <laughs> the, the, do, well, I think what we've learned is if I was Batman, the Riddler would never be caught. <laughs> like, would never. Man, have. man, the Riddler wasn't caught in this Batman. <laughs> like, I, look, the, sorry to go slightly off topic here, but have you seen the new Batman? Yeah, 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 I liked right? it. Well, I thought it was really good, but. I was so excited for them to finally do Bruce Wayne as like the world's greatest detective. I think mm. that's such a thing that they've often skimmed over. Yeah. I know Christian Bale's Batman touched on it because you know they he worked out the Joker's fucking fingerprint from the bullet that exploded and he traced it back to that. And it, that's really good. That yeah. was like the greatest detective, right? In this one, when it's like he's the greatest detective, he doesn't work out anything other than the three birthday cards Riddler gets him at the end of the movie. Spoiler alert. Riddler is in prison, kind of because of him, and Riddler's like, ah, and you worked out my foolproof plan, and you, because you're like me, and we're we're the same, and you know that I'm gonna blow up the wall so that Gotham gets flooded, and Batman's like, yeah, yeah, I did work that. You're gonna what? (laughs) (laughs) Huh? What? Eh? Huh? What? And then it happens, and then he goes out, and you're like, oh, so the worst Batman ever didn't work out a fucking thing. Yeah, but you know he's trying his hardest, like I am here. Like it's you know it, it's it's difficult. It, 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 yeah, but you've been cast for a thick cast. <laughs> yeah, he's, he you're perfectly very, cast for this. He did very much employ himself, <laughs> didn't he, Batman? Yeah, and also the bit where like like Riddler's just going Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne, and Batman's only defense for that is. Oh, oh, fuck, he worked it out. Oh, I've been caught. <laughs> he's the one in prison. You're like, oh, I've been rumbled. <laughs> what has hands? But can't clap. Your audience. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't bring themselves to do it. Come from this cunt's audience who clicks all the time. <laughs> I do fucking hate that. Do you get a lot of clicks? No, I don't. I did briefly in what? New York. Where was, what's the audience clicking? Oh, so you you know how, you know how, you, right, you know the left, right? And you know what we're like, right? And you know what? the other left are fucking like. Mm. There was a time where, you know how it's like, we're going to change the world for 0.1% of the population. That's what the left is so all about. So clapping out the game for amputees. No, 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 no. For people that get scared by loud noises. <laughs> oh, what? Aye. So they, they really oh, tried to... A comedy show with a sound system. Human, human, beings who, human beings who hide under the table when fireworks going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They really tried what, to... What, soldiers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Clock. <sighs> Very good. You see, I, I'm, not, I'm not good at thinking outside the box like this. Oh, inside of it. Uh, right, inside <laughs> of the front, it's, it's not, box, it's not so even really a box. I'm thinking about the box. <laughs> the more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Time. Oh, I mean, good, but no footsteps. Oh, oh good. Um, let's go on to science. Now, I'm not, I, I, I must admit, I used to really like science. I did my... Uh, what was your favourite type of science? Uh, physics. Physics? I, I did, uh, oh, we've got some physics questions I did, for uh, you. I did um, my work experience at the medical engineering and physics department of, uh, of King's College. Hospital. And what did that work experience entail? Uh, okay. So I was doing well up until it came to like, I, there was this day where I just had to file stuff. 
just like put everything in filing and it was my last day and I, I didn't know alphabetical filing of like any 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 and I mean like of like of like the NHS god bless it but I <laughs> they shouldn't have employed a 15 year old kid <laughs> to do this job I, it's really stretched if you're if you're there as a volunteer and they were like like all week I'd been like fixing equipment and things like that like they'd shown me how to do that and then just left me equipment to fix mm -hmm. so it was like they were like here's how you do it just do it and I was like was a fair bit of responsibility for a 15 year old to fix like it's like a heart monitor and things like that. It wasn't like anything that was going to save the anything. They left like, you fixing a heart monitor. It's just monitors your heart. It doesn't save you. It's just you, that can go bad. That's fine. So well, okay. I, I kind of feel like they have to know what your heart's doing. <laughs> just uh, just dead guys, guys, he's shaking a lot over there. Yeah, no, but the monitor that the 15 year old kid <laughs> fixed, <laughs> his heart is doing wonderfully. So. <laughs> Defibrillating a kid that's reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so on the last day they had all these filing things and I was like okay but say say I just put it in in whatever order I wanted to and then fucked off and got a Burger King and went home mm -hmm. what happens because I'm leaving well, this job today? some poor 67 year old person who wants to retire has to redo your fucking job I reckon well that'll teach them yeah <laughs> well should have gone private <laughs> <laughs> so this is your forte then this is so yeah this is my no no I was terrible at it but yeah how many teeth does an adult human have? Oh, 32. Brilliant. Nice. Unbelievable. Did you count them one night? Bored? No, I just, I'm just sick at science. He just, he just, he just <laughs> remembers every visit of the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what oh, is the hottest planet in the solar system? Mercury. You would think, but it's Venus. Oh, is it? Ah... Uh, Two questions here, just because I, I I thought the way this question was phrased was very stupid. What is the largest known land animal? Giraffe. Elephant. That would be tallest. What's the largest uh. unknown one? <laughs> Is that something? Is that how the question was phrased? Yeah, yeah. Is it like, like, like is just something much, undiscovered no, just floating no. around? You're allowed to. You're allowed to say what is the largest known like. Sea creature yeah, yeah. because like there there could be stuff yeah. way down there like we've all seen uh, that the Meg yeah, right I did the, I did we haven't seen the largest the largest <laughs> fucking land animal like we've defaulted <laughs> everything <laughs> right it's, it's so big but it's so stealthy yeah. <laughs> we're gonna just dig into a mountain eventually yeah. and we're just gonna find out that Snorlaxes <laughs> are real and they're fucking huge uh, well 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 done the elephants good for them. Um, so you thought giraffes were... I thought that was not a bad... Because I'm making it out like I said squirrel. Giraffe was a good <laughs> guess. It's definitely megafauna. Yeah. But I thought it was just commonly known that elephants were the... Well, well it depends how you define largest, doesn't it? Like, the I, actual answer is a beached whale. I suppose, yeah. I, <laughs> no. I, not uh, wrong. I mean, it would be, yeah. Uh, what scientist proposed the three laws of motion? Newton. Very good. What are now, for super bonus points, super bonus points, because we had to Google these. What are the three laws of motion? And if you don't know, guess. Um, okay. No, I remember learning this, and you did that thing where you had to put a thing on a spring, and it would go down. Um, you learned it with Slinky? <laughs> did you just well, yeah, that's how, because it shows how gravity works. Yeah, yeah, but I just didn't, I just didn't know what you were describing. No, I would, no, I would not say Slinky was a no, spring. No, no, there was this spring thing, and you attach weights to it, and it goes down. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you weren't, shows, you weren't describing a Slinky. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, unless it's like an extreme Slinky. And uh, no, so I'm going to go, the three laws of motion, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to say, uh, it's not these, but it's, the, it's, go, like, it's going to be the fancy words, downwards, upwards, sideways, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The three laws of motion are downwards, upwards, and sideways. Well, it's going to be can a we, fancier way of saying can we get it. <laughs> right, that's why, that's why a coal is made of fire. Yeah. <laughs> the three laws of motion are downwards, <laughs> upwards, and sideways. Well, the, that fancy it's the only three directions things can go in. <laughs> in, like a, no. in a fancier term, it's that. It's going to be like force, mass, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> an object, first law, an object will not change its motion unless a force acts on it. In the second law, a force on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. So you got some of the words correct. Yeah. And in the third law, when two objects interact, they apply forces to each other of equal magnitude and opposite direction. So if you throw two balls together. Oh, that's, if that's, is that a fancy way of saying upwards, downwards and sideways? It's a fancy way of saying upwards, downwards and sideways. I don't think it is. 
First law, okay, okay, you know what? Yeah, I can make this work. And first law, <laughs> an object will not change its motion unless a force acts on it, right? So gravity, uh, gravity, yeah. downwards, <laughs> yeah, right. One. Second law, the force of an object is equal to its mass times it. Oh no, fact. The first law, an object will not change its motion unless a force acts on it. That's kicking a ball up in the air. Uh. So that's up. We've got that correct. Second law, the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. <laughs> right. That's yeah. That's <laughs> side putting things. That's that's sideways. Uh, or, or, mm. So, okay, can I just say... Oh, no, no, that's gravity there, because the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration downwards. And then in the third law, when two objects interact, act, they apply forces to each other of equal magnitude in the opposite direction. They would bounce off each other, and there go sideways. So, Three on points. a technicality <laughs> that I helped with, <laughs> and, and, a complete, cool and, a complete, <laughs> and a complete butcher. <laughs> and and it, it, but let, me just, let me just say this. When Newton came up with that in, what, the 1500s? Maybe 1700s, something like that. Apple fell on his head. They've had 300 years to polish up the wording. Mm -hmm. I only had, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. So yeah. when he first would have come up with it, it would have been upwards, downwards, and sideways, and someone would have got that. <laughs> you, oh, re right. you, reckon, you reckon the apple fell on his head? He you went, don't whiz. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, was that, was that an apple or a fucking watermelon? <laughs> it's okay. great okay. damage. What either of you there? <laughs> then we don't know. All right? I, we, it could have been. True or false? Lightning is hotter than the sun. False. True. No, it isn't. Man, I <laughs> agree with you. But according to the internet. And well, oh, well, then it's true. Is that a lightning on the sun? Well, how the fuck can you get struck by lightning and survive? No one's ever been struck by the sun and survive. <laughs> <laughs> it's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, nobody's been struck by the sun, so we don't know that yet. No, no, yeah. but, like, no it's not. That's nonsense. Uh, it's not hotter than the sun. Lightning can heat the air it passes through to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is five times hotter than the surface can of the sun. Can or does? Can. Can, so, so theoretical. The people, so the people that survived it probably didn't get hit by that one. They probably got hit by one of the I'd survive the sun one. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just different. I saw you some at my win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you got some of those. Uh, okay, your least favourite round. Uh, spelling B. Okay, is, that, is this the last one? No, there's one more after this. Okay. Spell B. B-E-E. -E. Good. Dystopian. You, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, D-Y-S-T-O-P-I-A-N. Brilliant. Philosophy. P H I L O S O P H Y. Superb. Man, if you didn't get that right into the name of your podcast. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Genuinely, when the podcast first went up, someone had to message Des. If you look on the our, our, our thing, there's spelling mistakes all over the description of it, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what we're advertising. You know what you're getting. Yeah. You're coming in. Um, caffeine. C A F F E I N E. Brilliant. And finally, I cup. Oh, you've done me dirty here. <laughs> <laughs> I C U P. Why do you C U P? Did he get 100% of the spelling room? He fucking did. So you're yeah, just like. You're just bro, lazy. No, just, like, look, sometimes you open your phone. You got dystopian. You, you, How can you not spell and? Because <laughs> it, it my fat thumbs look. Like, sometimes you spell it and I just think, oh, I'm not going back changing that. They'll work it out. <laughs> no, to be fair, they do. Right. Explain how these things work. Rain. So, sun that's hotter than lightning beams down on the earth, right? Because lightning doesn't make water evaporate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> fucking just I mean it definitely does like, that's no, why it makes it a good psh, in a the air but that's not like, I, I bet steam would come off you if you got well, struck no. by the cunt when lightning strikes a tree the heat vaporises any water in its path possibly causing the tree to explode or a strip of bark to be blown uh, off so that's well, fair enough uh, but uh, so the sun will shine onto some like uh, body of water mm -hmm. uh, the water, the condensation then happens the condensation then goes the con not condensation I'd say do you mean evaporation evaporation yeah. Ev evaporation can cause condensation sorry that's what causes condensation. I mean, it's, it's quite the opposite, and it's when it condenses instead of evaporating. It's like when it gets on a window and turns into globu yeah, cause cause globules. It's, yeah, that's what's happening. It's because it's, it's, it's evaporating. Yeah. yeah that's so then, when, when it goes up, so it goes up, uh, then it, it like forms a cloud, hmm. and then the cloud goes and rains, and then it all goes again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's more to it than that, but I don't, I, I don't know the science words. Sure, that's good enough for me. This is what's happening. How does dry cleaning work? 
uh, you take it as some Koreans and they fix your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do the Koreans do? They, they, they dry it. They dry, <laughs> they dry it? <laughs> yeah. well, like, like with a hairdryer? No, nah, they got some big fuck off machine in it. And what does it do? It fucking dry cleans your clothes. What's that, what is that? What is dry cleaning? I don't know. Just I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't, me neither. Kai? It's a. Uh, it, it's actually not dry. They, they, they use um, solvents that, like instead of water. Oh, really? And the solvents will like kind of get pumped through and like oh, break, break, it break up the soil and pump it out and the awesome. soil. Oh, so it's like like you just said like soil oh, for instance. Oh, right, like right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Dirt. Yeah. So instead of like tumbling it around in water, yeah. it's just like nah, it just, it yeah. sort of, it's a, I imagine it's like a carpet cleaner. The way you do your carpet cleaner, oh. it passes through, but without using water, using like non-flammable solvents. Uh. And uh, the, I, I'll hold my, I have no idea how this thing works. And even when it's explained to me, I still think it's fucking magic. Uh, record player. Oh, like a vinyl one? Yeah. So the needle on it, there's little dents within the records. As it as it starts hitting the little dents, uh, it creates vibrations that go through the needle. Right, but how are those vibrations words? <laughs> Well, because it, it's like it's like if you look on that, that's if you were to make, put that onto a. So for the people who can't see, that's that's the audio track of this. If you were to condense that onto a vinyl, it would hit that. That creates a sound. The needle creates the sound. And the sound is then goes through the record player and is amplified through the. There you go. I mean, I still think it's fucking voodoo, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just, I, I can't. You could, you could, you could sit down and explain to me for thirty years. I could have been. You know I, what? I'd love to see vinyl under a microscope. It looks cool. I think well. it would look like uh, it would look like terrain. Oh, well, is that all the? Is that all the questions? Hey, but you know what, Elliot? I did all right there. You did very well. I think you only got like I'm going to say overall. Of all the, I think you only. I think you're like under ten wrong. Well under ten wrong, and only like three quotably stupid answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, got, we've got the sound bites that we need. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We brought you here to do an hour podcast just to find a new MLM. <laughs> Bars to stand by MLM or whatever it was. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, G, K, M, L, N, O. You just fucking add that. That's the fun bit. M, L, N, O. L, M, N, O. Oh, is it L come first? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. L, L, M, N, O. No, you said M, L, N, O. You said M, L, N, O. They sound sad. But it's interchangeable. Here you go, Kai. That's what vinyl looks like under a microscope. Oh, nice. And to be fair, it does look a bit... Like wave patterns. Yeah, yeah I guess. See? Is I that mean, fucking fair you, play. How do you invent that? Uh, that seems like it should have come next. <laughs> like, that seems like it's the more impressive invention. Yeah. Than, than coding and data. No, mind you, I, I also like, how the fuck do... Right, if that's how vinyls work, how the fuck do CDs work? Well, it's, it was a laser version of that. Oh, so yeah. it, they would shine a laser on it instead of the needle. And no, it wasn't. No, it was... A, it was de- de- they took data from it, didn't they? The CD, you no, like it had, it had like, not a, like more computer laser. based. No, it was the, that's the whole point of a CD. The, la- the laser instead of a fucking uh, well, okay. like a little laser. I, thing. Thought, I thought they received data from the How CD. How do CDs work? I thought they received data from a CD because it was all fucking zeros yeah, and ones. Yeah, see, it's a it? laser. There's fucking lasers. Look at the diagram. There's a laser. A CD works by focusing a 780 nanometer wavelength semiconductor laser into a single track of the disc. As the disc rotates, the laser beam measures differences in the way light is reflected off the polycarbonate layer at the bottom of the disc, converting it to sound. So again, just in a... I want to do one where I get to ask you two cunts questions, because oh, this is... This we, is I, I would love nothing more like that. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking sick of being... Brought, I think I've done very well today yeah, have. doing I, some incredibly basic spelling. <laughs> 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 and and answering some stuff. I think this is I Okay, okay, yeah. well, let's leave this on a cliffhanger. We are gonna come back with thick cast four this time it's personal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll go from the thick cast to the two dick cast. Yes. <laughs> and it's you could do a quiz that me and Kai are against each other in. And Absolutely. You're the quiz master. Done. Super. Oh, perfect. That'll be the next time. Thank you very much uh, for joining us Thank on the podcast and also letting Thank us very coming. lightly bully you. Oh yeah. Um please plug your I'm, uh, I'm on podcast. Instagram at Elliot Steele and on Twitter at Elliot Steele. I also have a podcast, B Tech Philosophers, which is a lot of fun. It's doing really well, actually. It's quite it's fucking insane that people want to tune in and listen to me be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Um, and we're bringing back the dad jokes while you're here. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah. Are you doing uh, the fringe this year at I all? I am not doing the fringe. Are you going to be year? up? I fringe? am not going to be up at the fringe. I fucking didn't know. God, where, where are we coming to see everybody? All right, Mr. Got... Work in Progress. Yeah, he's a fucking busy. <laughs> Um, We're going to Germany and Austria, I think. We're going to Germany and Austria. 
Oh, yes, the, yes. Oh, yeah, we're off to... So t- the first Vienna show is sold out. The second Vienna show is not sold out. Graz is not sold out uh, yet. Then we're off to, I think, about five or six German shit cities. I keep saying shitties. Um, I will Berlin, shitty, Munich, though. Offenbach, Cologne, and then the two other ones that I keep forgetting. I'm very sorry, Dinosloss.com. Uh, also, the Czech... We're going to Prague and Zurich. Uh, so please, please do oh, come Zurich's to Zurich. Zurich's great, man. Oh, aye, aye, it's good. Um, Kai. Yeah? Your dad asks for anal, and if his partner says no, he clucks like a chicken until they concede. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do some anal tonight? No, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, Kev. <laughs> 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 I'm 52 that's not going to Okay, we've been married for like 30 for <laughs> 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 Fight, fight, put it, it. Put it, <laughs> Daniel, ever since your dad got a job in a hospice He claims he can deadlift a lot Elliot, your dad sets fire to his mouthwash and has it like a flame in some people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elliot, your dad asks for consent before entering a woman, but only because he's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kai, your dad keeps getting Hotel California and Hotel Rwanda mixed up. <laughs> And sang the entire script of the 121-minute 2005 hard-hitting Oscar-nominated film with Don Cheadle at karaoke night. <laughs> <laughs> Including all stage directions yeah. and the credits. <laughs> he did the trailers as well. Um, Elliot, your dad patronises women because he thinks that's how you make them come. Eh... <laughs> uh, Kai, your dad got his penis pierced several times so he could play it like the recorder when he pees. At least probably to my one. Daniel, your dad, urethra, has a periscope. <laughs> <laughs> and so his sperm can see if it's safe to come out. <laughs> Danny, your dad's armpit farts smell worse than my other ones from my ass. <laughs> hey. Elliot, your dad dropped you as a child and then instinct kicked in and he yelled, Ian right from outside the box! <laughs> <laughs> and caught you on the volley. <laughs> Kai, your dad's Tinder buyer reads that he's an awkward southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elliot, your dad went to take you to get new teeth and he put them straight under the pillow to get home to make a cool £32. <laughs> 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 Kai, your dad always has to walk around eggshells with your mum, and that's because she's a hen. <laughs> she, she looks like a chicken when he doesn't want to do it all. <laughs> Kai, your dad got voted class clown at school, but it was based on John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, your dad approached a DJ and Tiger Tiger and requested his own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, fun right. with friends. See you next time. <laughs>